Listen up, Steel World. I'm Ashley Novak, and this is Petty TV. New projects, new CNC processes, and new machinery is just around the corner, so let's get to it. Mexico City is a growing metropolis. Our friends at Ajax take us just outside the city to show off a project currently being erected in their hometown. Lindy Casey here in Mexico City today with Petting House partner Ajax. I'm here with Ernesto Guzman, Operations Manager for Ajax. Thank you for being with me today, Ernesto. Ernesto, what can you tell us about the total tonnage on this project here? El proyecto consta de tres torres. Cada torre pesa alrededor de 2,500 toneladas. Bueno, el peso total son alrededor de 7,500 toneladas. What can you tell me about the benefits and the purpose of the steel structures we're standing in front of today? Sí, el propósito de esta obra es son departamentos de vivienda residenciales, eh, los cuales consta de tres edificios de 45 niveles cada uno. Ernesto, this appears to be a massive project for Ajax. How long do you anticipate the erection phase to be, and when will the project be completed? Okay, tenemos tres meses para hacer ingeniería. Y, y, y el suministro de materiales. Eh, la ejecución de la obra, como tal, en lo que es fabricación y montaje, eh, tenemos 11 meses y está planeado terminarla en diciembre de este año. Ernesto, do you anticipate this project to be completed on time? Eh, sí, es la, la intención con el cliente. Nos está pidiendo que seamos un poquito más agresivos con el montaje y yo creo que sí vamos a recuperar, estimo, unos dos meses antes para, para la fecha del compromiso. Which petting house machines were used to fabricate the steel for this project? Uh, se utilizaron máquinas para cortar y perforar placas y máquinas para cortar y perforar perfiles. What has been the importance of the petting house equipment in this project for Ajax? Pues es en precisión para que las piezas lleguen y se puedan montar correctamente y en fabricación para que salga con los tiempos adecuados para el proyecto. What's better than coat milling with one drill spindle? Coat milling with two drill spindles. Take a look into the world of finished parts with multi-spindle coat milling on the Petty XCM 630. Hi, I'm Lyle Mankey. Today I'm here with Brad Codsey of our engineering department. So Brad, what is your background in machining? I've been machining for 25 years. Everything from plastics to brass to AR plate to hard ox. Um, structural steels, aluminum, everything. How is it possible to perform a milling function on the XDM machine? Well, we step in on the Z incrementally, and then we also step over on X in order to not drop a slug into the machine and to achieve the nice finish. So is the material clamped very well on this machine? Yes, the, mater the material is clamped well. Since structural steel has to be a little flexible, we have to have rigidity in machining. We actually have quite a few extra clamps on this. We have a mid clamp, we have three vertical clamps, and we also have an underside support. Can you describe a typical XDM milling process? We have what we call eat milling, which is where we remove everything, which is like what's shown here. We also have drill and mill, where we drill a pilot hole and remove it and keep the slug for faster manufacturing. As the material flows through the machine, it gets sawed off and you can nest multi-parts to get constant throughput. So Brad, how does Raptor software assist with this whole milling process? Most copes are imported with Tecla BIM models and with a few settings they can easily be processed automatically. What are the advantages of milling a cope as opposed to like thermal cutting or burning it? Normally with thermal cutting, you end up with a draft angle, whether it's oxy, plasma, um, even laser, the oxygen blasts the material through and you end up with a, a draft angle. With milling, you end up with a square corner. You actually end up with a, a finished surface. There is no heat effect zone. There's no discoloration in the metal. 
So why does everybody hate the grind? Because it takes one of their operators off of a machine and puts them on the floor finishing parts. Also, grinding is dirty and it produces hazardous dust. There's a new Dawn Rising at Petting House and it covers a new range of processing for fabrication friends. We have prepared a special sneak preview of what will be unveiled at FabTech in Chicago. That's all for Petty TV. Be sure to visit us at Fabtech 2017 at booth 81845. Make sure to also subscribe to our free magazine, Petty News, for more of what is happening in the global steel industry.